there's a variety of different versions of this play. It has been rewritten every 15 to 20 years by, by John Kander and Fred Ebb and Joe Masteroff. And I think that's because the piece uh, requires being rethought and reconsidered for each generation. There are things that they were presenting and investigating in 1966 with an audience of people, many of whom who were there, many of whom had tattoos on their arms, many of whom fought for the freedoms that eventually happened over there, who were sitting in those audiences, who are not the audiences that we have today. And there were a lot of considerations that they had of that original production of trying to talk about racism, talk about um, bigotry, talk, talk about oppression that was happening in the 60s as it applied and was reflective then. We're in decades and decades later. Within just the last few years, we've all been embracing and sometimes struggling to embrace concepts of, of pronouns and, and self-identification and people finding their homes and their found families and what that means and what that means when other groups step in and manipulate their joy and manipulate their freedom and manipulate them finding themselves into being something that is perceived by other people to be evil or a threat. Nate Cohen, who is not only our dramaturg, but Nate is also our cultural consultant as I have approached this being very mindful of Jewish themes that are in the show and making sure that we make a lot of considerations, let alone the fact that we intentionally are casting a very diverse cast and what that will mean for you in, the, in this show. that we're setting this in is that bombed out train station that we open with at the beginning of the show. We're starting years later. The costumes are based on a circus. They're based on German expressionism. They're based on old Hollywood as well as the German cinema. They're based on um, the Zigbio Follies the Follies de Berger, and the idea is that this person is taking all of this stuff and information and spitting out on stage with sequins and feathers. So all of these influences are going to be kind of like regurgitated all over the stage. And, and so it's going to be confusing, it's going to be fun, it's going to be weird, some of it's going to be disturbing. Hopefully, hopefully it'll all come together in sort of a weird, wonderful way. Mom's the word. Yeah.